Andrea from Kinder Art and the Kinder Art Club, and I'm here to give you a behind the scenes look at the Kinder Art Club, an art lesson membership for teachers and parents who are teaching art to their children and students ages 5 to 12, give or take. Uh, I have already logged in, but if I hadn't have if I hadn't logged in, I would click on member login or I would click over here where it says login or up in this area here where it says log out. If I wasn't logged in, it would say login. So I'm just going to click on member login and show you where you end up when you log into your account inside the club. You end up on this page, which is called the start here where to begin page. This is perfect for you if you're new to teaching or if you're new to the Kinder Art Club or if you just need a little refresher. We've got lots of information in this section uh, and it's categorized in these sections. One is called the basics. This is how to teach art to children. What should I teach first? What are my students capable of? Scheduling and planning and art room rules. I'm just going to quickly show you inside here. So we've just got some information on how to teach art to kids and then we've got the downloads inside the club that help you with that. What are my students capable of? How are my students feeling? What should I teach first? Uh, quick win lessons, that is all found here. And then of course a link to our planning guide. How to schedule your classes. Really important helpful information. So that is in the basic section below that information on where you are teaching because where you're teaching uh, does change how you are teaching. So if you're teaching from a cart in a school, that's a little bit different than if you're teaching at home, if you're homeschooling and you're teaching at the kitchen table. And it might be a little bit different if you're teaching in an art studio. So you can find tips in this section about that. Below that we have the elements of art. This is where we have all of our lessons categorized um, based on the elements, line, shape, color, value, texture. That is all in this section. Tools and supplies. This gives you uh, downloads that you can use to purchase supplies that you need to teach art to your students. We also have a document which I will show you uh, in a moment that gives you all of the information that you need for the supplies that you need to teach the lessons that are inside the club. We also have a technical uh, support page or a frequently asked questions page that helps you figure out how to use the club. Things like how to download the lessons, how to save them on your computer, that kind of thing. And below that, you can find out how to get in touch with us. And that's me, Andrea, on the left. And that is my mom, Jan, on the right. So I am going to quickly just run through. Here, you can see that you can go to the Member Zone or the What's New page. You can also find that up here. Member Zone, Start, which is where we are, and What's New. Member Zone gives you uh, links to other areas within the site, a welcome page, the what's new page, all of the art lesson bundles, how to join our community, the start here page, which is where we just were, a page with art teaching tips, and uh, this is a page with all of the club resources. I can show you this. This is kind of a roadmap or a site map to everything that you can find inside the club, or most everything anyway. Again, the what's new page, the bundles categorized by artist or theme, how to draw lessons, a quick win jump in lesson bundle, the art curriculum planning documents, sketchbook starters, worksheets and printables, artist bios, bonus lessons, info guides, the elements of art, again, art spotlight, which is the artwork created by students of our members, the help pages, and back to that discussion group. So that's what you will find in the club resources. The art supply checklist, I'm going to show this to you here. This was at the request of a new member. She said, do you have somewhere a list that shows me everything that I'll need for the lessons in the club? And I said, you know what, I will create that for you. So I did. We did have a, and we do have um, a list of the art supplies that you can use to teach art to children, but this is very specific to the lessons in the club. And I just want to show you that we don't use very expensive and hard to get a hold of materials. We're talking about things like drawing paper, watercolor paper, construction paper, and things like crayons, markers, watercolor paint, and some modeling material, glue, that kind of thing. We have a checklist so that you can uh, go through what you have, figure out what you need, and so that's just a helpful document for those who are teaching using our lessons.
So that's the member zone. Down here at the member zone, the what's new page, that's also found up here. This is the new bundle or uh, things that we're talking about, things that we're excited about. I am in the process of adding the bundle for the next month, which um, as I'm recording this is uh, back to school. So the September bundle, it's coming up soon. This is our greatest hits bundle. We are in our fifth year of the Kinder Art Club, August which is the month it currently is, uh, is our fifth year anniversary. So what we've done is we've found our most popular, our most often downloaded lessons, and we put them in a nice big bundle. So that's what's here currently. We also have the art book, which is a kinder art classic that we have added to the club. Very, very useful, very helpful for those of you teaching uh, the younger grades, kindergarten, even pre-kindergarten will benefit from this. Because as I mentioned, uh, we're in the back to school time, you're either teaching or you're about to start teaching and this is one of the lessons from inside of our getting to know you bundle which is super successful very fun uh, great for all ages and so I've linked that from the what's new page also we have a bonus lesson that was added this summer which comes with a video which is fun uh, link to the easy curriculum easy stands for exploring art simplified for the year this is where you can find curriculum planning documents that will help you to plan your school year, to plan your homeschooling year, uh, to plan your month if you're teaching in a children's art studio. Super helpful stuff. Again, because it's this time of year, Autumn and Back to School, we've got links to lessons um, that are inspired by Autumn, uh, our art supply checklist, which we just looked at, and Back to School lessons. And there's some other goodies here on this page as well. So I'm going to jump over here and go to bundles. You can see that you can look at bundles uh, categorized by theme or artists, by history, science, seasons, living, working, and moving, or you can just look at all of them. And what I really love about the Kinder Art Club is that all of our art lesson bundles are available to our members immediately, at all times. You don't have to wait to look at a bundle. You don't have to wait to download a bundle. If you need it, you can get it. It's in here for you. And we have hundreds and hundreds of art lessons all categorized in these beautiful bundles. And I will show you inside one of these bundles. I think I'm going to show you the birds bundle. This is a fun one. It's got four lesson plans, uh, four how to draws, it's got book recommendations and some printables. Each bundle page will show you, it'll have a little description about the bundle. It will show you a, a list, printed list of what is inside. It will also, also show you visually what's inside. So I'm going to choose this uh, Black Cat Chickadees lesson. This is a popular one. And so we get to the lesson plan page. It will show you what you need. So you can, at a glance, you can say, oh, yep, I've got that information, I've got that material, I can work with this. Uh, it tells you a little bit about the lesson, what elements of art are covered, what principles of design are covered. It gives you the lesson, the book recommendations, the printables, and in this case we've got some guided drawing lessons that accompany this lesson. So I'm clicking on the lesson and then what will happen is a PDF print it or you can select save to download it to your computer. I like to keep the lessons on my computer obviously but I also print them out and I keep them in a binder. So this is the Charlie Harper inspired art lesson. There's some, I'm just going to make this smaller so you can see. Uh, there's information on the artist, again the materials, elements, principles. There's a link to a book which is really great, one of the Charlie Harper books. Some background information on the artist, a video that you can go to, that you can share with your students, information on chickadees. And then this is the step-by-step -step lesson. Uh, we do have a variety of lessons inside the club. We've got step-by-step -step lessons, guided lessons, so you can guide your students through one step after another step. We also have a very good number of open-ended art lessons, which, um, are not step-by-step, step. you provide what you'd be creating, and it's a very, very fun lesson. And once I show this to you, I'm going to show you 
uh, what one of our club members did with this lesson. Just scrolling down, this gives you the finished examples. There's templates. Uh, sometimes the um, templates are needed. Sometimes some inspiration pages are needed. So this is a lesson, Chickadees in the Winter. I am going to our student gallery to show you what one of our members did. She did the lesson, but in this case, she didn't create the lesson in winter. She created it in summer. And so this is what I love about the club. It really gives you the freedom to take a lesson and modify it for your purposes. And in this case, our, uh, our member, she said, you know what? My students actually suggested that we turn it into a summer scene instead of a winter scene. And so they went for it. And I love that. There's no need to follow the instructions exactly. You can use your own creative judgment. You can come up with your own um, modifications and it will work for you. And I love looking at this page, all of the wonderful things that students have been created, uh, have been created. This is the children's art in the spotlight. You can find it in the resources tab. But again, back to the bundles. And again, any bundle you need, it's unlocked. It's there for you. You can access it. Next to that, we have drawing. These are the guided drawings. You can find them inside the bundles, or you can just come here and choose one that you might need. For example, here's a swallowtail butterfly. You can click on that. You can download it. Uh, your students can use these if they're uh, finished their work early. They can work on one of these. I teach middle school, and I actually have these available for my kids uh, if they're kind of not really into what we're working on at the moment, or they get to class a little bit early. I've got these available. They can use them, and they can draw in their sketchbooks. We have the, the one-page printout and the expanded versions here, too. Sometimes teachers will use these, and they will use them as just as drawings, and other times they'll use them, and then they'll turn them into paintings. So you can use them as you like. I am going to quickly show you our curriculum planning pages. This is our easy curriculum, Exploring Art Simplified for the Year. This is not a list of you must teach this at this time and you have to do it this way. This is a choose your own adventure art curriculum. What we do is we provide you with the documents that where you can plug in the lessons that appeal to you, that you know will work for your students, um, that your students will be interested in. So we give you the tools and then you can put it together and we're here to help you do that. So we've got the easy curriculum guide which you can download, a planning document that you can print out, and then we have calendar pages. We've got yearly, monthly, and weekly pages. So depending on how far along you are planning, are you planning for a year? Are you planning for a month? Are you teaching every day? Are you teaching once a month? It's all here for you. You will find something that works for you. I really like the weekly planner pages. It's very colorful too, and um, you can make notes, you can make lists, you can uh, keep track of what you've been teaching with our lesson log. This was something that was requested uh, by our members and we, they love it. It's downloaded a lot. This is our what to teach and when to teach a guide. We also have some elements of art um, outlines that kind of show you what you should be focusing on at what age and grade level visual arts standards for those who need them, and a simple rubric as well. There's a video of me down here explaining how it all works. So that's a very useful page. We also have this, which is a very fun part of the club. Sketchbook starters. These are over 200 cards that you can print. You can print them on cardstock or on plain paper, and uh, you can laminate them or, or not. I don't laminate mine. I just keep them in a box. And I like to kind of walk around and have the kids choose without looking. They just kind of grab a card and then they can work from that card. What they are are prompts. They are uh, creative prompts that kind of help your kids um, take that step to creating something. If they're not quite sure where to begin, you can use these for early finishers. You can use them for an entire art class as well. But that's a really nice part of the club. And we have a little sketchbook guide here if you want to make your own sketchbooks, you can do that. This is a nice way to search for lessons if you want lessons on animals. 
If you know you have markers and you want marker lessons, you can click on markers. If you know you want to do a portrait lesson, you can click on portraits. And you can also search. So let's say I want to teach about cats. I search for cats and I can find all the lessons and the bundles that have um, information on cats. So you can do that too. You can go by type, you can go by bundle, you can go and search. It's all here for you. So I'm hoping that this has helped you to see what's inside the club. If you would like to become a member, you can go to our join page, thekinderartclub.com. You'll see me there. You can read a little bit more about the club. You can download our info book, which is here. Let me show you a little picture of it as you scroll down this little info book. It's helpful if you want to show it to your uh, school administrator. If you're looking for a purchase order, this will help them see what they're paying for. Uh, you can read some testimonials from our club members, which I love reading. A little bit about us and information on our money back guarantee. This is really important. If you join the club, whether you join as a monthly member or a yearly member, and you find, you know what, it's not going to work for me, you have seven days to decide. And if you don't want to stay a member, all you need to do is message me and I will refund your money and cancel your subscription. So you've got nothing to lose, no risk. So you can join as a monthly member, you can join as a yearly member. The difference between the two is when you join as a yearly member, um, it's paid up front and you get two months free. So instead of $17.99 a month, it's uh, uh, it works out to $14.99 a month, something like that. So it's a nice deal. A lot of people like that option. But if you want to go month to month, you can do that too. So you can join here. And if you have any questions, you can read a little bit more about it. These are our frequently asked questions. Where you can use the materials? Um, where can you use them when you're teaching? What's the kinder art method? All of that sort of stuff. It's all found here. You can read about it. Take your time. And the club is open to you anytime. You can join today, you can join tomorrow. We are here when you need it. So any questions at all, you can write to me, Andrea at thekinderartclub.com. If you would like to join, visit thekinderartclub.com. Thank you for joining me. I hope I didn't take up too much of your time. I would like to wrap it up at this point, and I wish you a wonderful day. Thanks for joining me.